if you're only seeing 20 psi oil pressure you might have a problem replacing the screen on your pressure sensor will help but it will not actually increase the oil pressure your engine is getting i have a trick that will do just that after doing this simple trick i've got well over 40 psi at full engine temp at idle what's up youtube million videos on seafoam we're going to try something a little bit different I don't trust the stuff running all through the engine I can only assume if the inside of this screen looks this bad that the inside of my oil pan looks something like this this is just a reference image to get an idea of what we're going to attempt to clean I'm going to try to take a shortcut using seafoam but only to clean that screen, not the whole motor. Okay. We're going to put the plug back in with no oil in there. So, step one, two, three, something. Pull the dipstick. Get it out of your way. You'll need a small funnel or modify something with a hose to pour this down the dipstick hole, not the oil fill hole. Shaking the vehicle periodically may not be necessary, but it's fun to do, and I recommend it. After 30 minutes or so, we're going to drain this stuff out. This step is crucial. It's been about 30 minutes. I've shaken the vehicle vigorously. Now I'm going to drain the sea foam out into a Clawson dill pickle jug. Don't use anything else. Only this will work. I bought that special from the store for this job and I had to eat all the pickles to make this work. This is 530 from a previous oil change. I'm going to do court or so. It's not critical. A couple drops of sea foam still in there. It's not going to hurt anything. I just didn't want to wash my whole motor out. I just want most of the sea foam out of there. A little bit isn't going to hurt. High mileage motor with who knows how much crud. I don't want to break a lot of that loose. So that's why I'm doing this this way. I'm only trying to clean the screen and probably the bottom of the pan a little bit, but that's just inevitable. Okay, she's down to a very slow drip. So we're gonna go ahead and put this drain plug back in. Clean that surface up good. It doesn't have a gasket or a crush washer. I don't know if it's supposed to. So I have some gasket material. I made a gasket for it. Makes me feel better. Hopefully you too. This Suburban holds six quarts of oil. Got our new filter in. We'll put in five quarts of high mileage Valvoline. We're topping this off with something a little better than typical oil. A little bit of prolonged engine treatment. 
We're up to full operating temperature. It's about as warm as she gets. At that, I was sitting at about 30 PSI for oil. I've gained easily 10 PSI in oil pressure from doing what I just did. I believe that screen is cleaned out and I am very happy with the results. Very happy, this is perfect. Very easy to do.